Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. And the fun thing that we're trying to do today is we're playing Abzan Journey. This deck comes from Kamira, so we were playing direct challenges on Friday on the stream and uh, he just brought out this deck that just wiped me clean. Like, it just destroyed me. And it was so spicy that I had to build my own version of it. And so this isn't his exact version here. I kind of added a few other pieces. He was going more for an Ethereal Absolution uh, finish with Journey to Eternities and just some really fun stuff and i decided to uh, kind of bring it a little bit differently kind of add in more gruesome menagerie uh journey to eternity revivals uh, which he did have in there as well but it's just super super fun so what we're trying to do is just play a bunch of value cards in the one two mostly two and three drop slots that just get so much value if they do go to the graveyard that we can bring them back get some more value and, and just keep doing some really fun stuff with this deck so that's what we're trying to do is first off uh get out wild Earth walker uh play the the typical you know explore uh combo that's just amazing we are also including knight of autumn which is also just so versatile and amazing it kills artifacts and enchant which is so useful in this format right now uh journey to eternity the biggest issue with this deck is making sure we actually get it flipped uh so that's the only thing that we we kind of took out more ways that we could flip it for more value with what's in the meta game right now the main re main way that we can flip it is of course uh getting a favorable block or play crafter uh but right now there is so much exile removal that it is a little bit hard to get this flipped over that's why we have so many other ways to get value out of the graveyard still in this deck with revivals with fine gruesome and menagerie and we're trying to just get things back multiple times if we ever do get a, a journey to eternity flip we have tristani we have biogenic ooze who uh keep keep getting value that's available to us in the graveyard like if we if people typically want to get rid of a biogenic ooze well we can just keep bringing it back and it's just going to bring out value every time it enters the battlefield so we have a lot of etb effect type stuff uh that is it just works really well with journey to eternity if you guys don't know what this does actually so you enchant target creature and then if it dies the creature comes back to the battlefield so you have an etb effect again there if you if you can and then you uh pay you can pay five to tap this once it's flipped over to a land and you get to bring back any creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield. So it's just a lot of value in Journey to Eternity. Typically, if you get it flipped over, you, you get so much value, you tend to win games. Uh, there are some caveats, of course, to that because we are playing so many cheap creatures. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the gameplay, see how this goes, and wish me luck. Before we jump into the gameplay, a quick thanks to Fusion Gaming for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head over to FusionGamingOnline.com for all your Magic the Gathering needs. Check the link in the description below. All right, up against action, bring it on action. And we're playing our abs and journey deck and uh, pretty, pretty fun so far. All right, so this is a fantastic hand. We don't have mana for Jade Light, but we have Wild Walker into Seeker Squire. So we will keep this and we have some redundancy with the find uh, if we need it. Opponent Mulligan down to six, keeps it on top. All righty, Temple Garden tap, pass the turn. Journey to Eternity is pretty good. It, honestly, it's a little bit hard being at three mana. Um, we need to find that we there needs to be a way that you can sacrifice creatures a lot cheaper. I think that that would be able to make this deck work a lot better. So go well with Walker, hoping for the Jade Light Ranger. And no removal. Thought Erasure. Okay, Thought Erasure. Probably going to take the Jade Light Ranger here. I'm not sure if they want to. They, they could take the Journey to Eternity. Uh, which is pretty good. All right, Overgrown Tombed. Um, oh, I have to play something black. All right, so play the Overgrown Tomb. Is this deck going to be playing something for the Journey to Eternity? They could have another Thought Erasure. Find is pretty good as well if anything does end up dying, so we can bring them back. So let's just let's just Secret Squire get some value now. Try to set up a good draw. Another find. Um, I think we go graveyard there, which is a little bit funky. But we already have one. He knows we have one. So, I mean, ha having the extra one doesn't give a ton of value. At the moment, at least. Because we don't have a ton of creatures available to us yet. Okay, Vross is Contempt. That's annoying. All right, we're probably just going to, uh, let's see here. We have Llanowar. We can find, we can Journey to Eternity. They have a Veras's Contempt. All right, we came, we came to play Journey. 
I think finding these guys would be better. Uh, pay the two life. We'll play Journey to Eternity on Seeker Squire. Swing in. Down to 16 past the turn. So playing the find there might have been better. Because we could have played both of these on the next turn. Uh, we can actually finality and flip it and kill Nico Bolas. So let's just let's just do that. So pay two life finality. Put the counters onto. We actually want this to die. So so we'll just decline. Yeah, we we actually want it to die. So flip journey. It does come back. We get to scry again or uh, explore again. Now we have Journey to Eternity flipped, and now we can bring back creatures. We don't have the um, Wild Growth Walker, unfortunately, anymore. But Stark and Fireblood, all right. Uh, we're looking for Playcrafter now. Playcrafter, so good. We just keep sacking itself. It's going to have tons of value for us. So that would be the best top deck possible is uh, Playcrafter here. All right, Varix Blade Wing, all right. Another journey, pretty terrible for us. Uh, so I think we just need a Jade Light to uh, to kind of turn through our deck here, um, see what we can find. So Jade Light Ranger. Ross's Contempt is an answer. Yeah, keep it on Library. Overgrown Tomb tapped. Um, we could swing in just to get this into the graveyard. It's not really useful for us out here at the moment. Uh, but we'll, we'll say no attacks. I mean, it, it is something that could pressure down this Sarkin. Uh, if he does try to swing in, we, we at least have things to swing back. So we'll see, we'll see. And we are at this point totally fine with stuff going to the graveyard as well. All right, Eldest Reborn. Yep. Kill the Seeker Squire, that's fine. Um, we want to get stuff out of the graveyard too so that he doesn't have a chance to get anything good back. Uh, he will have the Nicobolas, of course. Alright, Ross's Contempt. Do we want to save that for... Alright, so let's... Uh... Journey to Eternity on Jade Light. Swing at Sarkin. All right, so going to block. Now we will Verasus Contempt the Sarkin so that we can take the untapped journey. Not that it really matters, but this will come back. We get to explore a couple more times. If we find lands, we have to unfortunately discard. Keep the one that's tapped. Um, yeah, Graveyard. Library, there we go. Keeping that on, on top of the library actually very good for us. Uh, that doesn't let it discard. They can't steal it from the Eldest Reborn. Unless they have removal here, which will be annoying. Um, in fact, do we just want to get stuff out here? Nothing really worthwhile. Alright, try for the try for the ooze. See what the last card is. If it's a cast down, this is annoying because then they get it back. They can't activate it, which is good, uh, but they're probably just going to go for Nicobolas. We have a lot of mana each turn available to us now. And uh, even through a Nicobolas, uh, they're one mana away from being able to flip it. But even flipping it here, I'm, I'm not as worried. If, we, if ever we find a uh, Playcrafter, we're in great shape. That's that's more worrisome. Playcrafter? No. All right, so, um, hmm. Knight of Autumn, destroy the Dragon Sword. Create an Ooze. Pass the turn. Oh, man. 
seriously, if we had found a Playcrafter any time during this deck, like this is the exact game where we want Playcrafters all the time. We're totally fine with that going to the graveyard. Absolutely fine with that. We kept uh, Nikki B from flipping here, which is good. Eric's Blade Wing, okay. Uh, they haven't played enough to uh, to use this Biogenic Use either, so that's actually really good. So we're actually in okay shape here. I mean, we're, we're I'm saying we're in okay shape, but they have. You know, a 5-5-4-4 five, five, four, four and a 4-4 four, four flying here, but we have the ooze, and that's what matters. And it's creating oozes each turn, which is really powerful. Um, if they hit a big draw, I mean, we're in trouble. Uh, but I think they're debating on how much they swing in for. They might need to race us here. If they let us stay around for a couple more turns, they're, they're in a lot of trouble. We can even swing in with the ooze and bring it back whenever we want to in response to anything... Uh, we'll, we'll probably want to get counter value, but, uh, but yeah. All right, opponent, what you got? What you got? All right, so it does look like opponent is timing me out. We did draw the play crafter. Could not have come at a better time. Um, I kind of... So we can bring back Knight of Autumn, which is okay as well, but we'll just... Yeah, play crafter. Create an ooze. Opponent's still... Actually, opponent's still here. Sacrifice. Play crafter. Create an ooze. Um, I guess we don't really want to swing with the ooze just yet if we don't have to. They can just block, block, take this much. The issue is they can have some really good draws. And getting ooze to the graveyard is our best bet. We get in for 7 damage. But then if we don't put counters on, it kind of loses a lot of value. So... We'll say we'll say no attacks. We have the play crafter for the next turn. A lot of good value here um, that they they're really gonna have a hard time dealing with. Okay, they they have to kind of just go for killing us this turn. They have nine. Yeah. So thought erasure draws more cards, gets to surveil, trying to hit as many and as many spells as they can to try to kill us here, and I don't think it's possible. Yeah. All right. Opponent scoops it up. After almost timing us out there, too. I, I thought they did, but uh, they did not. All right, that was awesome. All right, up against Newton Boy, or Newton Boy. And uh, we are playing Absent, Absent Journey. And uh, well, we have Merfolk Trickster to kind of dig. This is slow lands, though. Opponent's going first. If we draw land any time in the first couple turns, we're in great shape. If not, all right, we're, we're going to keep this. Still a lot of value in hand. All right, Woodland Cemetery, pass the turn. Up against Gates. So Playcrafter is amazing against Gates as long as we get to flip this Journey to Eternity, which is a lot better against Gates, or a good possibility, because we know what time Gates are going to be coming down. So, man, all of the slow lands, which is really frustrating. Maybe should have waited on that one, actually. But uh, let's go... Let's go Murphic Branchwalker. All right, Overgrown Tomb. So next turn, we're just going to try to get down Journey to Eternity. It flips over for land. Uh, whatever they play, we're trying to have this die, basically. So Overgrown Tomb tapped. Journey to Eternity. On to Murphic Branch Walker. Swing in for two. Down to 18, past the turn. And now we get so much value. Our Playcrafter can kill so many other things. There's a Gatebreaker Ram. We get to Playcrafter. Sacrifice Merfolk Branch Walker. We get to kill their Ram. We probably should have swung in first there just in case. Uh, we will keep that. Do we want that here? Yeah, we'll, we'll go library. That's This is more value if they do try to, uh, to go for Gates of Blaze. And we have a lot of damage on board, so they're going to need to Gates of Blaze here. Uh, we have Knight of Autumn if they do try to get down Guild Summit, uh, which this might be a Guild Summit. All right, there's Gates of Blaze. That's fine. Um, I think we just Biogenic Ooze here. 
get it out after a gates of blaze less chance of it being in hand again uh we also have the journey to eternity to keep bringing it back which is a way that we can actually um block a lot of their big things Playcrafter is amazing here and uh we're actually pretty good against gates especially yeah once this night of autumn comes down that might be a concede especially because we can keep getting it back over and over again they can't kill our stuff we do have wild growth into jade light we'll do that on the next turn i'm thinking they're gonna have to gates of blaze again if they have it um and we can find here as well so night of autumn destroy enchantment um swing in down to 12 i'm gonna hold on to this one so let's uh let's see here yeah let's go ahead and find now we're not we really don't want to use the finality side against this deck it's never that useful but uh we can grab play crafter and uh i guess branch walker we're trying to get in some damage when when we can so P branch walker going to be better for that grow the oozes if we get those out for enough turns then uh then we're in pretty great shape and i'm i'm liking the look of this deck it's really fun we can start getting more oozes out as well. I mean, I don't think it's as valuable against this deck necessarily right now. Um, we'll probably just... We're, they're probably going to have to play a creature or Gates of Blaze. If they Gates of Blaze, we're hoping for, um, I think, land so that we can bring back the, the ooze. Or Wild Growth Walker into Jade Light Ranger, which is also very good. And that can help us find the lands we need. All right, we'll just play Crafter Swing in for a million. Um, yeah, Playcrafter. Sack the Playcrafter. God, the Shrine. Uh, let's go, let's go tap. We'll just bring out Mount Branch Walker. That's what they know that we have. So Branch Walker. Looking for lands to kind of get him off. Um, we can go Graveyard with that now that we have it there. We already have one in, in here. We're, we're just, we're looking for more value. So swinging in. For a million, down to two. Put counters on. Um, they can still kill us with the Gates of Blaze. And uh, this is honestly probably Gates' worst nightmare. Pretty good against them. I mean, if they ended up having two Gatebreaker Colossuses, Colossi, uh, then we're in trouble. But once we get them down to two, okay, there's the Angel. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we will... We're just going to play crafter and I think we have lethal. So yep. Sack the play crafter. I mean, they were dead even with the one in the graveyard. So yeah, we're, we're good. That was, that was fun. All right. Up against Sean, bring it on Sean and we're playing our abs and journey deck. And let's see, let's see. All right. Land of war into Jade light um, or night of autumn. Yeah, this is fantastic. We'll keep this. I mean, it's kind of dependent on us keeping this line of war around, I guess. I mean, not anymore. Journey to Eternity is one of our best ways against uh, to win against control. The issue is, is that they have a lot more um, exile removal than normal removal, which is, which is frustrating. All right, so we're going to get down Seeker Squire past the turn. Night of Autumn... I, mean, I guess we keep that on library. We just uh, keep bringing out threats for the next few turns. Yeah, Sun Petal Grove. Swing in for two. We're not really looking for lands. We'd like to set up our next few draws, but I, I think we, we're okay here. I think that... Do we put on Journey to Eternity? It's a much better chance that they have a Dead Negate here than um, an Essence Scatter. So, Night of Autumn. Maybe Syncopate? Alright, Revitalize. Yep, that's fine. We're going to put on Counters here. Control can be a pretty rough matchup for us. Uh, if we get Journey flipped, I feel like we win. 
especially with how many play crafters we have anything like that we just play it out as long as it's flipped we're, we're in pretty great shape um otherwise we're in trouble so they, they just pass here that's rough um guaranteed they have a counter for this um, we're going to swing in for six. I mean, six each turn is not a bad clock. We have a way to kind of rebuild as well on the other turns. Is it going to be quick enough, though? I don't know. Um, all right, so Temple Garden tapped. I like holding on to Knight of Autumn in case they do have like Exelon's Binding or anything like that. Hopefully it doesn't hit the, the Knight of Autumn. All right, so we're pretty sure whatever here gets countered. They could just be holding on to uh, Chemister's Insight. Uh, maybe of Ross's Contempt, which Ross's Contempt as well. Like they just have so many answers that hurt the Journey to Eternity. So I think we need to get rid of the counters. So Jade Light Ranger. And this means they probably have a Kaya's Wrath. Um, all right, we'll keep it on library. It's it's a way that we can play a creature and journey on the same turn. There was a chance that we might have just been able to get the journey to eternity down. But I think that if they don't have the Kaya's Wrath here, then we are doing a lot of damage as well. Uh, creatures going to our graveyard isn't terrible. Um, we're dodging Cry of the Canarium here because everything's three toughness. And uh, yeah, so we have some good chances here. There's Kaya's Wrath. Maybe I should have discarded this down for um, Play Crafter. But now we can A2 Life, Wild Growth Walker, Journey to Eternity onto the Walker. And pass the turn. I mean, it would have been nice to just have another Jade Light there. Uh, that probably would have been better against... I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. If we find Playcrafter, we can destroy the Wild Growth Walker right away. Flip Journey. And then I think we're in pretty good shape. Otherwise, though... I don't know. They can also just Teferi and bounce this. And then we're crying. I mean, there's always the chance they just have nothing in hand. I mean, it's always a chance. Immortal Sun. All right, Playcrafter. No, but Night of Autumn will be pretty good here. Destroy that one. Uh, because they have possibly disinformation campaigns. I'm going to go ahead and play this tapped. Swing in for one. I'd rather get out my lands, especially with if we ever do flip the journey. Uh, it's a lot better. Uh, they could also have Mortify here. So they have Mortify. I mean, if you kill the... Oh, I guess you can't kill the Wild Growth Walker with it. That's right. Now we only have three power, though, to be swinging in with, with each turn. Uh, so J Light off the top would be amazing. Not land. Uh, now that we have six land, I'm going to go ahead and... and uh... Yeah, we'll pass the turn. If they if they have disinformation campaign, we can discard a land here. It's only useful if we have journey uh, to be able to flip at this point. This is the biggest issue with this deck, is that we don't really have card draw. We just, you know, we could probably bring in um, some sack outlets for guard draw. Like, we can, we can have the one where you sack something, draw two. Uh, that could be useful. That could actually be very useful in this deck. I'm just not sure what I would go down, because we're trying to have a lot more value. Maybe the fine finalities. Um, but those are so useful, too. I don't know. This, It's kind of interesting. I guess re revival is a way to bring back good things as well. Maybe we need Golgari Fine Broker as well here. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Mariah Conjecture is bad. Um, we can find for our Knight of Autumn, kill the Mariah Conjecture. So find. 
Night of Autumn and Jade Light. Um, do we have to go Night of Autumn first? Alright, we, we gotta go Night of Autumn first. Destroy the Conjecture. Swing in. Down to 11. We're, we're at least getting rid of value each time that we play stuff. Chemistry's Insight. Holding up mana for counter. I mean, we're going to play the Jade Light regardless, but... Cry of the Canarium. Ooh, that's rough. And now they're exiled. We get to play our Jade Light Ranger and swing in for quite a bit here. Ooh, yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, Jade Light Ranger. Let's just hope they don't find uh, Kaya's Wrath. We'll keep that on the library as well. Seeker Squire. This gets to bring back any creature that we want. On the library, we get more counters. Swing in for four. If they don't have a Wrath here, we get to do... We actually... We could have Lethal with the Revenge side of this as well. Which is really fun. Uh, if, they, if they can just kill one creature... We would have six damage and then we could uh if, if we get him down to one and you revenge you get to kill him is what i'm trying to say uh with counters though i'd probably try to go for the revival instead uh so the revenge side of this is really good if you do end up going later game with um with mono red or something like that they finally find answers for your wild with walker or whatever uh then revenge is a way to just kind of buy you know 10 more turns if you have enough if you have enough mana all right so they have counter mana available they know that we have the revenge here um all right so swing in for six all right so we don't have lethal now i guess if we had revenge first we would have had lethal so that was a misplay if i had revenge first and just tried for it we would have had lethal. Um, now we're just going to pass the turn. Yeah, that, that was a misplay. I should have at least tried for the revenge. There wasn't really anything in, in the uh, graveyard to try to hit there. Chemistry discards the absorb. So they did have an absorb. This That means they probably have another one as well. I don't want them to be able to absorb and gain more life. Thought Erasure takes the, revi the Revenge. Unmoored Ego. Yeah, Unmoored Ego, like it's good. It's good against our deck. It's just a little too slow at the moment. If they don't have an answer now, they could very well be dead. Dispersal makes us discard the Jade Light Ranger. Okay. Uh, we'll play Wild Growth Walker. Get it down. Swing in for two. Down to one. Now they have to answer two creatures again. Dovin's Acuity. Okay. It's a draw card. Uh, that was a pretty epic top deck for them. If they've been holding on to that, that's really good. Um... Uh, swing in first. Okay, there we go. Whew. They probably had absorbs up. Uh, so glad that we swung in first. That was that was a close game. Uh, but I, really, I didn't think that we had a chance if we didn't flip the journey to eternity. But we just we kept having so many threats, and that's the other side of this deck too. Is if you're just playing a lot of good creatures, um, sometimes you can get through controls dirtiness. But yeah, that was good. All right, up against High Pekka. How you doing, Hi Pekka? And uh, we are playing our Abzan Journey deck. I always crack every time it's that Abzan Journey deck. Uh, we're we're going to keep this um, on the power of Jade Lights, I guess. Overgrown Tomb Tap, pass the turn. If we find a Wild Growth Walker, it's great against Mono Red or any, any aggressive deck. If not, then we then we just get to play Woodland Cemetery, pass the turn. <laughs> and uh, hoping for white mana eventually. I don't think we're going to go for it right away, though. Uh, I, that, the versatility of Knight of Autumn is so good that I'd rather have it for a while. All right, let's go for Swamp, Jade Light Ranger. 
two lands. Hmm. All right, we're going to get down this Journey to Eternity this turn. Either that or if they do, we could block here. Um... And bring it back with revive, revival. But I think getting down the journey uh, will be more value. So no blocks. Knight of Autumn could be good here as well. What does this hit? The Knight, the Knight of Grace. All right. Um, it does make it bigger. So yeah, let's just journey to eternity. Next turn we have Knight of Autumn, Branch Walker, or revival if we need to. Not that we will. Uh, no attacks past the turn. Better chance of them swinging in here. Do they have a Conclave Tribunal? That would be annoying. All right, Knight of Grace looking good so far. If we get to flip this, uh, we're actually, I think that we're, we're going to be favored still. It's going to be close, but. All right, swings in, swings in. We block the bigger one. All right, comes back. We get to explore. Ross's Contempt. We will keep. We will keep. We can't hit the Knight of Graces, but mostly I just want counters uh, for some things here. So we get to draw that as well. Um, nothing in the graveyard to even put to bring back at the moment. Uh, let's see here. No, re no reason to shock ourselves when we don't need to. So planes. Knight of Autumn with counters. Jade Light Ranger. We hopefully get counters here as well. Yep, library, library. I uh, will keep it because we have the Merfolk Branch Walker, and then we can always trade these guys off uh, and get some value. So we can actually maybe swing in here. Makes it indestructible. Uh, so not a lot of knights. I'm trying to think of what could be bad here. Like if they have ways of pumping it, I don't, this is bad, but I don't think they're going to have any. So maybe we do swing in. So swing in. Seal the way. Sentinel's mark, huh? All right. All right, so we're going to win by getting a massive well with Walker. Ross's Contempt, unfortunately, can't kill that. Benelish Marshall. All right, this is this is what we were hoping they didn't have. Yeah, swings in with all their first strikers. Uh, we will Knight of Autumn here. We can take we can take it this time. I need to have at least some creatures out for the next turn. Uh, Ross's Contempt can hit Benelish Marshall as well. Let's see here. So do we need to do that anyway? We we have the revival as well here, so we can. All right, let's just gain life this turn. So wild growth walker. Merfolk branch walker. Another Revival Revenge. If we gain enough life, that, that could be a way that we just stay alive for a turn. Is Because I'm going to use this one. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. We know we can get stuff back uh, for cheap. Let's go ahead and Revival. Bring back Jade Light. Gain 6 life. Grow the Wild Growth Walker. Yep, Library, Library. This also makes sure that we get counters onto everything. And uh, we're big enough to block some stuff. I, they can still swing in for a lot. We can take a lot now. And then we have Ross's Contempt, the Benelish Marshal. Hopefully they don't have another one. Pass the turn. We have a blocker for... I mean, Walgoth Walker can kill a lot of their things as well. Another Benelish Marshal. Ah. Nice. All right, swings in. They have another Sentinel's Mark. This is annoying. We can probably just block with the Jade Light, though, and be able to get it back. We can Ross's Contempt, Revival. Um, all 
So block with Jade Light. I, I should have blocked with more stuff there. That was a misplay. Definitely should have blocked with more. We can go up to 40 life here. So we can... Hmm. All right, we, we have to kill one of these Spendalish Marshals. Do we bring back bring it back now or do we wait? Uh, I think that we can wait a turn. Getting the Wild Growth Walker bigger is really nice. Getting more life is nice. But being able to double our life and bring them down quite a bit is actually so good. So we're going to pass the turn. Uh, and the other thing, too, is that if we find a Playcrafter, we, it might be better just to Playcraft uh, and then Revival it twice so we at least get to kill a couple things. Man, History of Benalia, they, they just have had the nuttiest draw ever. Uh, and this is rough. Like, I mean, not a lot we can do about this. All right. Um, let's go ahead and just bring back a Jade Light. Or actually, let's bring back Night of Autumn. Destroy this. The Sentinel's Mark isn't important. Get out Llanowar. Mostly just as another jump blocker. No attacks. Pass the turn. And that's the other thing too. Is that they know that we're willing to just block whatever. Uh, we have life coming on the way. Ixalan's Binding. Ooh. Wild Growth Walker. Okay, so. If they swing in, we get to Night of Autumn. Bring it back. All right, so we will Knight of Autumn block here. Let's go ahead and block and block here. Let's As long as we start killing some stuff, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we can still get a lot of value. We can bring back Knight of Autumn if we find land. Actually, with land or else, we get to Revival still as well. We have to make sure we hold up the right mana for that. All right, we'll, we killed one thing. Journey to Eternity again. Not very great. Um, gaining life here is not as good. So yeah, we're just going to tap here. Knight of Autumn. Get the Ixlons Binding. Revival, bring back a Jade Light. Man, I just, this deck, once it starts going, it is so fun. Uh, we need to find a Playcrafter, but I, I mean, we can keep doing this cycle for a while now. Uh, no attacks, pass the turn. Opponent probably just has to pass. I mean, if they keep killing our stuff, we get to get more value out of Water Wild Growth Walker. We have another Jade Light still in the graveyard, though. This time we will block as much as we can on this Knight of Grace. Get him gone. And as long as we keep whittling him down, we're in fantastic shape. All right, so we know they don't have anything here. Bodyguard is on... Was it the other Knight of Grace? It's not pointing at it, right? I think it was the other Knight of Grace. Um, we'll block like that. We can take three. That's totally fine. Down to 20. Kill the Knight. I mean, he's putting our Jade Light Ragers to the to the graveyard. That's the perfect card for us to have there. So Merfolk Branchwalker, grow the Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, opponent scoops it up. Oh man, <laughs> that was really scary. Opponent had the nuttiest draw, uh, but 
we were able to uh, I, I think I think he had some misplays that really helped us out there uh, but <laughs> that was that was fun that was awesome all right, so there you guys have it with Abzan Journey, and uh, this deck is so fun, and we won against Gates, uh, Grixis Control, Esper Control, or Grixis Dragons, and then Mono White, uh, or actually it was Orzov Knights, and just good stuff. And uh, deck, deck was doing really well. We did end up losing against Burn. I didn't show it, uh, so I, I went and tried a Mono Red in, in Ranked, and... Uh, I feel like we win if we get to keep out a Wild Growth Walker with some Explore Triggers. If we get that, I think that we win against Mono Red. If not, we lose. And we didn't get it, so we lost. Same thing against, uh, I did an, an Is It Burn deck that I w ran up against. Same type of story. Uh, just didn't get out enough of the good stuff right away. If we found a Playcrafter, we would have won. Uh, and so maybe we need a little bit more draw card draw, more effects like Playcrafter. I did uh, initially have a Ravenous Chubacabra. I decided to bring those out for Ross's Contempts. Uh, because I felt like they just were, um, they were better overall. Um, it, you do get the recurring value with Ravenous Chupacabra, but being able to gain some life, hit a Planeswalker, exile something, and uh, have it be something that's more targeted is, is still good. So, I don't know, uh, there's maybe some things you can change with this, but overall, the deck is super, super fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, and bye-bye.